Hey guys, it's Patrick Stone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a full coverage foundation routine. It's been a while since I did one. The last one that I did was super old, super janky janky.com. But today I present to you this full coverage beat face tutorial. My skin looks very smooth. You guys will see that I do a lot of steps. I cover everything from foundation, concealer, powder, priming, even shaving. If you guys want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media and let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, you guys, so do we see my skin? Like, this is the before, the after. The before, the after. The before, the after. And my skin is so problematic to me. Like, I do shave. I have yet to laser my face. I did laser this bottom portion. I don't know if you guys can see this line right here. I decided to laser the bottom half just to eliminate razor bumps so it looks like I have a perfect shave. So this is what my skin looks like lasered and then non-lasered and I ha don't have any more bumps on the bottom and I've just done one laser treatment. That being said, I'm gonna zoom you in so I can explain like my problematic areas that way in case you have the same issues or insecurities about your skin, you can learn how to cover it up with this tutorial. We are very, very, very close. And as you guys can see that I have very porous skin. So I have large pores right here. Also, I have hyperpigmentation from a beauty area. Do you guys see there's discoloration right here with my mustache? And of course, like blue, um, black areas from my facial hair right here. And I want to eliminate all those issues. So basically, my problem is 99% of America right now is porous skin and hyperpigmentation. And I use that with full coverage foundation and techniques that I will show you right now. So let's zoom back out. All right, guys, so the first product that I'm going to start off with is the Benefit Porefessional. This is amazing because it fills in the pores just like the name Porefessional. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to rub this on my cheek areas just like so. And I'm gonna take the remainder and put this on the rest of my face. This allows my foundation to glide smoothly and it allows my pores to be filled. So that's what I love about this product. Apply the rest of it onto my beard area and we can move on. I'm hot. It's so hot in here. And I'm like a real butch. All right, guys, so before I start the foundation, I want to explain to you guys what I use to shave. So I do use this Cremo Original Shave Cream um, Balm. This is what got me all the claims that I had. I got this by accident, and this is my favorite, and I use this to shave my face. So I'll get my skin super hot under the shower, and then I'll put this in my hand. You do not need a lot because it says that compared to others, a lot of, like, the foams are filled with air this one is purely like a cream gel formula and it's really really slick on the skin and it's water activated so that's what i love about this one and then i'll use the gillette uh, fusion quattro razor and then i make sure i have a clean gel strip every time if i start to run down like this razor right here then the gel's gone that means the plastic will glide on the skin and then give me some ingrown hairs and some bumps and lumps which is what i don't want for the aftershave when i'm done shaving i use the famous very famous nivea aftershave balm there are two kinds there's one that's the regular kind and the post shave balm that's for sensitive skin so i use the one that's sensitive because i believe it's alcohol free and when i put it on it doesn't sting my skin so that's what i love for shaving my face. Now to the fun part, foundation. I'm gonna show you a couple of different foundations that I love. I love the Air Flash. I use this in the Power of Makeup video, and then I have my EX1 foundation. I love this. The colors that I am in, oh, they're both 500. So this one is in the color 500. It's a little bit orange for me, but I like it to look tan. And then this one is in the color F500 as well. This is a beautiful foundation. This one is definitely more my skin tone because it's more yellow. This is famous for having yellow pigments for people with a yellow undertone. So this is great. Also, I love the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC. This is great because it's full coverage. This is amazing. It lasts all day and it's full coverage. And then, oh my God, how can I forget? My favorite famous MAC full coverage foundation. This is such an old school product. I am going to buy some more today, but this is what I have. It's amazing. I'm in the color NC45. So I'm going to get started. So I first like to start with a liquid or something thinner. I'm going to use everything today just to show you. I like to take my Dior and spray this. Make sure you shake it. And then I'm going to take a Morphe M427 brush and 
just apply this on my skin. I like to work with building layers. I feel like it's super important that way you're not getting a cakey face. So this is already the first layer of my Dior Air Flash foundation in the color 500 with my Morphe M427 brush. And I love the Dior Air Flash because it is so micronized. It comes in a spray can, which means that the smaller and thinner the product is, the more it will cover the skin. So the chunkier the product, the less it will fill in the pore. So that's why I love a pore filler and then I love something so micronized so my skin will really, really look smooth. Next, to further cover my face, I'm going to take my favorite. This is like my favorite Holy Grail MAC full coverage foundation. You can only buy this at a MAC Pro Store. You can get it online. A MAC Pro Store, a lot of people don't know, is for professional makeup artists to buy um, certain supplies like airbrush foundation, full coverage products. That is not generally for, you know, the everyday person because who's going to wear cake face all day? You can look it up and call a MAC store. They don't sell this at Macy's. You have to find it at a certain MAC store. But I'm going to take this on my M439 Morphe brush. I'm going to apply this on my beard area. Do you see that? I honestly don't have patience to color correct. I know it's the best thing to do. But for me personally, I don't have time to mess with orange color correctors and whatnot. This is so full coverage. It works for me. I'm going to work my way up and then I'm going to just pat this on my hyperpigmentation areas. I'm going to apply this on my cheeks. I'm not going to really go under my eyes because that's for the concealer. And then I will take the remaining and I will just put it on my mustache. And that should cover the most of it. So this is what it should look like with just the liquid and the cream. I'll pop in my contacts and we'll move on to concealer. You guys love seeing putting it in these contacts. Boop, easy peasy. One down, one to go. Taking the other contact, make sure there ain't no dust. Easy. Oh, 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 we good. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm gonna take my Boing concealer in the shade number two. What I love about this concealer is that when I first picked it up, it said industrial strength concealer. And I was like, you know what, let me try this because that sounds like it's for me. So I like to take this in the shade number two. I love this because it's a very peachy shade and I love it because it is literally full coverage. And I like to take this right underneath my eye. I like to just pat so I get the fullest coverage ever. Like I said before, this tutorial is not for everyone. If you guys want to know how to get a full cake face drag, like this is somewhere to start. Drag queens wear a lot more than this, but if you guys want to look glamorous and fun, this is definitely for you because I, I love makeup. Who doesn't love makeup? It's good to get right here too on the inner corner so you don't neglect any of the darkness there. And I'm just going to just pat this. You see I'm just patting? as close to the lash line as I can, and I'm just gonna bring it down. I'm gonna put some down the nose, above the lip. Damn, that's a lot of makeup. <laughs> and then on the chin, I'm gonna put some on my, right here on the forehead just to give me that RuPaul glow. You see, I'm smiling like this, like when you see your friend you don't like. I'm gonna smile like this and just make sure you just allow your cheeks to guide you. And I'm not bringing my concealer all the way back because I don't want my face to look wider. I want to concentrate light on the center of my face, which is why I'm putting a lot of the bright concealer right here. So I'm taking my most favorite brush ever. I've mentioned this in every single video. This is the Morphe G2 brush. It's like a beauty blender on a stick. You guys can get any Morphe brush, any Morphe shadow or anything using the code PSTAR. This is so inexpensive and I love it. I'm gonna take my Dior foundation again and I like to use this as a blender. Like I said before, it is so micronized, I like to spray it. And you see how I applied it on the outskirts of the concealer? I'm gonna blend it with the Morphe G2 brush. And I'm just pouncing, do you see that? I'm just pouncing, I'm just pouncing. And I will go underneath the eye and just pounce. And this will allow me to have a smooth transition. Sometimes it's a hard to blend cream, which is why I like to add an extra layer of that spray. See, I am going up, but that's just the remaining product. Now, this is what you call snatched, okay? I snatch my damn face with creams, liquids, and a little bit of magic, and a little bit of a flick of the wrist. Next, immediately, try not to make too many facial expressions. I'm gonna take my Airspun Cody powder, 
in a powder puff. And I'm going to put this underneath the eye immediately because I don't want it to go anywhere. The airspin that I am using is the translucent extra coverage. I get so many questions on that. I'm gonna link it down below to where you can get it, but I like to take a powder puff. I'll link powder puffs too, they're amazing. I'm just gonna take this and really press it on my cheeks. That way, again, something so micronized will give me that smooth effect. And the reason why I'm pressing in powder, a lot of people ask me, why do you bake? Why do you like put that on? It's really gonna ensure the longevity. And let me tell you, bitch, you can go swimming with this. I went to a pool party on 4th of July. You were splashing water on me. You could not stop me from looking fierce. Guys, I'm literally dipping this. Do you guys see that? I'm dipping the whole thing into the container, getting as much powder as I can. And just you just want to smack the sh out of your face. Yes! It is not moving. Don't forget, underneath, because I worked so hard to conceal this beard, I know what you all are thinking. You look crazy. I know. So next, for my brows, even my eyelids are full coverage. Like, trust me, I never show this in my videos, but I'm going to show you here on a full coverage foundation routine. I'm going to take this flat angle brush right here. This is the E43, and I'm going to take my MAC full coverage in the color NC20. I'm going to snatch my brows. I have a question. Do you guys stand up or sit down when you do your makeup? I noticed that's a thing. I personally have to sit down when I do my makeup. I like my makeup laid out. I did ask this to Ava Mendez when I had a press meet up with her. And she's like, I like to stand up and play music and dance. And I was like, girl, you do you. How many of you guys stand up and how many of you guys sit down? Do you guys see I just snatched my brows with this, but now I gotta blend the cream. So I'm gonna take my face color, the MAC NC45, and I'm going to blend this. And this acts like my primer. My eyelids are just very, very hyper pigmented. I do this because I want to have my eyelids and my skin one color. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, does that crease? It doesn't crease because I also bake my eyelids too. Is that weird? So you see, I'm just blending it out. And I always do this off camera because this technique is not for everyone. This works for me and I thought I would just include this in the full coverage tutorial because my eyelids are also full coverage. So now that my eyes are full coverage, I like to take this tulip brush and dip it into the airspun and bake my eyelids. I know, I'm crazy, but this is just what I do. So maybe it'll help some of you out there that want to perform or also have hyperpigmented lids like me. So at this point, I will do my eyes. So I'm going to do my eye makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I finished my eye makeup. I'm back. It's very fierce. It's very dramatic. I'm going to an event tonight. So I do the top of my eyes. I do the bottom eyes like my mascara and the smokiness after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tapered brush by Sigma, the F25. and I'm going to dust off the powder. It took me about, what, 15, 20 minutes to do my eye makeup. So I'm just going to dust this all off. By now, it should be cemented. So next, I'm gonna take my Chanel Loose Powder number three. I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna use this to add some color back into my face. I know it's another loose powder, but this one has a tint. It's gonna take away the white cast. I sweat so much and I'm so oily, I use a lot of powder. If you're a performer, if you're in the theater, powders will be your best friend. So using similar technique to pouncing your face with a powder puff and powder is the best for you. I like the Chanel powder because it's so micronized, it's expensive, which means it does fill in the pores again. As you can see, like, I'm really caked right now. All right, so next, to add color into my face, I'm going to take the Make Forever Pro Finish Powder. So, the trick to having a full coverage face is I have creams, I have liquids, I have a setting powder. Now I have a foundation powder. If you want that extra, extra coverage, powders on the market that is marketed as a powder foundation means that you can wear this powder by itself and it will cover significantly like a foundation. That's what it's meant for. But I like to use this as extra coverage and extra color on my face. If I want more coverage, I will dab the powder. If I want like a more sheer, do you see the pigment on that? If I want a more sheer coverage, I will just buff it in. But mainly on my cheeks, I like to just dab. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe E41. It's a big fluffy brush. On my forehead, I like to just brush it along because I have a lot of expression. I don't want to dab powder on there. Next, I'm going to take a lighter Makeup Forever foundation powder. This is the Pro Finish Powder. Again, this is a foundation powder. I'm going to take the color 128, 
which is a lighter color on a kabuki tulip brush and i'm going to dab underneath my eye which will allow me to have a full coverage eye i do this in all my tutorials but i thought i would just keep this in here so you guys have a better understanding you see it's giving me that brightening effect and then i'm going to put some down the nose just pat some down the nose right in between the brows and right here on the forehead. That's pretty much it for the full coverage foundation routine. I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna contour, and add my lips and everything else, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, this is the finished foundation routine. I hope you guys learned a lot of tips and tricks from my home to yours. Try this at home. Tag me on all social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope, and also subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.